students, welcome myself Swati Hegde, chemistry lecturer in Alpha PU College. Last session we have discussed preparation of alcohols from alkene. In this session we are going to learn two more methods of preparation of alcohol. First method is from carbonyl compound. Preparation of alcohols from carbonyl compound. What is carbonyl compound? Any compound that contains C double bond O group is called carbonyl compound. It may be either aldehydes or ketones or carboxylic acids or esters etc. Okay. So now first we are learning preparation of alcohols by reduction of aldehydes and ketones. Preparation of alcohols by reduction of aldehydes or ketones. First let us take general example for aldehyde. That is R C double bond O H. This is general example for aldehyde. If you treat aldehyde with H2 in presence of finely divided platinum, palladium or nickel catalyst. So here we are taking hydrogen in presence of platinum, palladium or nickel. You can use any one of these platinum either palladium or nickel catalyst. To give corresponding alcohol RCH2OH. Here we took aldehyde in presence of hydrogen and finely divided nickel. It is converted into alcohol. This method of preparation of alcohol from aldehyde is called catalytic hydrogenation. In the exam they will ask you to write the uh, reaction for catalytic hydrogenation of Aldehyde. So this is the reaction. Here instead of hydrogen in presence of nickel catalyst, you can also use reducing agents such as lithium aluminium hydride or sodium borohydride NaBH4. This is nothing but sodium borohydride. You can use any one of these three reagents to convert aldehyde into corresponding alcohol. This let us take a particular example for this. Uh, let us take acetaldehyde. CH3 C double bond O H. This is acetal. Common name is acetaldehyde and its IUPAC name is ethanol. It contains two carbon atoms. So ethanol. When you treat this with any one of these three reagents, I will take H2 in presence of nickel it gives r c sorry ch3 ch2 oh this iupac name of this compound is ethanol so in the beginning we treated ethanol with hydrogen in presence of nickel catalyst we got ethanol as Product. This is method of conversion of aldehyde into alcohol. Which type of alcohol is this? This is primary alcohol. Here carbon is attached to only one other carbon atom. Let us take example for acid uh, formaldehyde. H C double bond O H. This is formaldehyde. If you treat formaldehyde with any one of these three reagents, I will take lithium aluminium hydride, LiAlH4, lithium aluminium hydride, you will get CH3OH. Methanol is converted into methanol. So we are converting aldehyde into corresponding alcohol. Here, alcohol you got contains. Same number of carbon atoms as reactant. Okay. Let us take an example for ketone also. Ketone CH3. C double bond O. CH3. What is the name of this compound? You should be able to name any compound in your syllabus. Okay. You should, you should be able to write IUPAC name of that compound. In the exam, you will be given one mark question. Write the IUPAC name of this. Okay. What is the IUPAC name of this? It contains three carbon atoms and it is a ketone functional group. So, this is propanone. 
So, if I know P R O P A N O N E. Propanol. So, when you treat this with any one of these three reagent, lithium, I am taking lithium aluminium hydride, it gives CH3 CH OH CH3. One hydrogen will attach to carbonyl carbon and another hydrogen will attach to oxygen. So, how this reaction will take place? What is the mechanism of this reaction? Before going to that, see here, if you take acid uh, ethanol, you got primary alcohol. If you take formaldehyde, you got primary alcohol. Here carbon is carbon atom is attached to no other carbon atom. So it, this is also primary alcohol. If you take ketone, ketone is converted into secondary alcohol. This is secondary alcohol. Propyl 2 all. IUPAC name is propyl 2 all, which is secondary alcohol. So, by using this method, you can prepare only primary and secondary alcohol. Tertiary alcohols cannot be prepared by this method. Okay. Now, let us see the mechanism of this. First, I take lithium aluminium hydride. Lithium aluminium hydride. This will dissociate into Li plus plus. ALH4 minus. This ALH4 minus, ALH4 minus will again dissociate to give hydride ion. H minus plus ALH3. This is a nucleophile, nucleon loving species. This will attack on uh, electron deficient center, that is, nucleophilic center in. Aldehyde or ketone. I will take an example of CH3 propanol C double bond O CH3. Here, what will happen if you treat this with hydride ion H minus? That means lithium aluminium hydride. In presence of lithium aluminium hydride, if you uh, take this ketone, it will this hydride ion will attack on this carbon. Because here carbon is attached to oxygen. Oxygen is electronegative. You know that. So it acquires slight negative charge. And this carbon acquires slightly positive charge. So this is electron deficient center. Here hydride ion contains more number of electrons. So this will attack on this side. So the pro this more electrons will move on oxygen. Product will be CH3. C double bond, sorry, C single bond O minus H CH3. So, if you treat this, if you treat this with water in presence of any acid, acid can, or you can write H3O plus also. This is same H2O or H plus in presence of H plus or H3O plus. That is same acidic hydrolysis gives CH3, CH, single bond OH, CH3. This is nothing but this product only. Okay. So here observe this hydrogen is from this lithium aluminium hydride. Lithium aluminium hydride dissociates into Li plus and ALH4 minus and this LiO, LiH4 minus will give H minus hydride ion. So this hydride ion which is attached to carbon is from lithium aluminium hydride. So this oxygen which is sorry hydrogen which is attached to oxygen is from water molecule. So in the exam they will ask question based on this. The hydrogen which Car hydrogen which is attached to carbon is from lithium aluminium hydride and which is attached to oxygen is from water. Okay. This is about reduction of aldehydes or ketones to corresponding alcohols. Next is reduction of carboxylic acids and esters. What is the general formula for carboxylic acid? It is R. C double bond O OH. This is the general formula for carboxylic acid. If you treat carboxylic acid with lithium 
aluminium hydride here you cannot use sodium borohydride sodium borohydride cannot reduce this carboxylic acids here you will use strong reducing agent that is lithium aluminium hydride if you treat this acid with lithium aluminium hydride it will give r ch2 oh here also alcohol contains same number of carbon atoms as in reactant so let us take an example for this acetic acid ch3 c double bond o oh if you treat this acetic acid with lithium aluminium hydride you will what what will be the product ch3 ch2 oh this will be the product i could have written this along with this only but the mechanism of this is quite different here it contains only h or r groups alkyl groups or hydrogen here oh group is present so it has but bit a different mechanism i'll show you that later next is ester what is the formula for ester r c double bond o o and dash this is the formula for ester if you treat this ester with lithium aluminium hydride lial h4 it will also give corresponding alcohol r ch2 oh you can write the example for this instead of r you can take other either methyl group or ethyl group anything write example for this by yourself okay now i'll tell the mechanism how this how the mechanism will take place here i'll take example of acetaldehyde only ch3 c double bond o o sorry acetic acid not acetaldehyde acetic acid here you are treating this with lithium aluminium hydride in the last mechanism also we wrote lithium aluminium hydride will dissociate to give li plus plus al h4 minus this al h4 minus again gives al h3 plus h minus okay this h minus will react with this plus h minus hydride ion which attacks on electron deficient center that is carbonyl carbon then this electron will move on oxygen so the product will be ch3 c o minus h oh here hydroxyl is a good leaving group oh group is a good leaving group so what will happen this electrons will come back here electrons will come back here and this will leave it is a good leaving group oh minus will leave from the compound so the product will be ch3 c double bond o h this h i have written here oh will leave since it is hydroxyl group, group is a good leaving group it will leave from this compound okay so this will be the product next same mechanism will take place as i have showed you here that is ch3 c double bond oh will react with one more molecule of lithium aluminium hydride liah4 which gives h minus this h minus will attack here so this forms ch3 c o minus h h so if you treat this with h2o in presence of dilute acid it will give ch3 c o h h h this is the mechanism in the uh, in your annual exams your me this mechanism will not be given but uh, as concerned to your neat and cet this is important you should know the hydrogen attached to carbon comes from which uh, which reagent and hydrogen attached to carbon comes from which reagent and all okay this is the mechanism right same in the same way write the mechanism for esters also there also or is a good leaving group that will leave okay instead of oh here write or okay this is about preparation of 
alcohols from carbonyl compounds. Next is preparation of alcohols from Grignard reagent. What is Grignard reagent? R will, will represent it by RMGX. Grignard reagent is represented by RMGX. This is third method of preparation that is from Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent. This R M G X is a Grignard reagent. Here, if this bond is polar in nature because of electronegativity difference between alkyl and magnesium. So here, this gets slightly that is alkyl group gets slightly negative charge and magnesium gets slight positive charge. Since this is electropositive in nature, it is a metal. Metals are electropositive in nature. So, this gets slight, slightly positive charge and alkyl group gets slightly negative charge. So, this acts as source of carbanion. Carbanion will be generated here. I will take an example. Uh, first, this aldehyde. So, I will take CH3. C double bond O H. Or, let me first write for general example only. R. C double bond O H. This is an aldehyde. If you treat this with R M G X R dash M G X. This is alkyl group only R dash. To differentiate between this R and R dash, I write R dash here. Okay. If you treat this with this aldehyde with Grignard reagent, that is R M G X. Use R C O M G X H plus R dash. This will be the product. Which on hydrolysis H2O in presence of H plus will give R C O H R dash plus H here plus. Mg OH X. So here what will happen? Since this is this will be having slightly negative charge, this attacks here. This group will attack, alkyl group will attack here, and here oxygen gets slightly negative charge. So this attracts OMG group. OMG here, then it are negative, then it's a positive, slight negative charge and partial. Positive charge, which on hydral hydrolysis gives corresponding alcohol plus MgOHx. Okay, this is the general reaction. You can prepare this alcohols from Grignard reagent mainly by two steps. The mechanism involves two steps. Let me take an example for this CH3. First, let me take for acetaldehyde. Sorry, formaldehyde. C double bond O H. If you treat this with R M G X, what will happen? Since this will be having negative charge, this will attack here. R will attack here and this bond will go. It forms H C O M G. Here take M G B R. Since I am taking particular example, C H 3. Methyl magnesium bromide. This is also Grignard reagent. You can substitute any alkyl group or any halogen here. Okay. Methyl magnesium bromide. Mg Br. Here CH3 will attack. CH3 here H. Which on hydrolysis H2O H plus gives you H C CH3 OH plus Mg OH Br. This will be the product. So what happened here? We took the formaldehyde and we treated it with methyl magnesium bromide. When you treat it with methyl magnesium bromide, it formed the ad adapt which on treatment with water in presence of acid gives you 
alcohol. Here you can observe while taking took the compound which contains only one carbon atom. But in the product side there are two carbon atoms. So the product obtained contains one carbon atom more than the reactant. Okay. If you take any compound and if you treat it with that means any carbonyl compound it may be either ketone or aldehyde and if you treat it with this uh, Grignard reagent and which followed by hydrolysis gives you product which contains one carbon atom more than taken carbonyl compound. Okay. This is formaldehyde. If you take acetaldehyde CH3 C double bond O H and same CH3 MgBr the product will be CH3 C O MgBr H CH3. Which on acid hydrolysis gives you CH3, CH, here OH, CH3. This is primary alcohol. Here carbon which is attached, no, carbon on which hydroxyl group is present is attached to carbon, con only one carbon atom. But here this is, this is primary this is secondary carbon. Carbon is attached to two more different carbon. Secondary carbon. And if you take an example of ketone. CH3. C double bond O. CH3. If you treat it with any Grignard reagent. And CH. The product will be CH3. C O M G B R H. Sorry not H. CH3. CH3 and which upon acid hydrolysis gives CH3 C CH3 here also CH3 OH this one. here this gives tertiary al alcohol so by seeing this you can conclude that formaldehyde with Grignard reagent gives you primary alcohol any other aldehyde except formaldehyde will give you secondary alcohol and ketones gives tertiary alcohol. This is about preparation of alcohols from different reagents. Next is preparation of phenol. How will you prepare phenol? There are four main methods for preparation of phenols. Two are laboratory methods and two are commercial methods of preparation of phenol. First one is from haloates. First method of preparation of phenol is from haloaldehydes. Let me take an example of benzyl chloride. Benzyl chloride with on treatment with NaOH. Benzyl chloride reacts with NaOH. In press at 623 Kelvin temperature and 300 atmospheric pressure. 623 Kelvin temperature and 300 atmospheric pressure. It will give phenol. Four methods are also very simple. First method is from hello array. Here I took chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene reacts with NaOH. By the elimination of NaCl and water, it gives phenol. This is simple, right? Reaction of chlorobenzene with NaOH at 623 Kelvin temperature and 300 atmospheric pressure will give you phenol. This is first method of preparation of phenol from haloaldehydes. Next method is from cumin. From cumin. This is pretty important preparation of alcohols from cumin. What is cumin? What is the formula for that? Isopropyl benzene is nothing but cumin. CH, CH3, CH3. This is nothing but cumin. If you oxidize this, if you oxidize this compound at 368 to 408 Kelvin temperature. If you oxidize cumin 
this is cumin at 368 to 408 kelvin temperature it forms cumin hydro peroxide this forms cumin c ch3 ch these two groups will remain as it is and here between c and h o h will come the sus cumin hydro peroxide cumin hydro peroxide this compound cumin hydro peroxide on acidification this on sorry acid hydrolysis h2o in presence of h plus will give you phenol oh plus this group ch3 c oh ch3 so here first you treated or you oxidized cumin at 368 to 408 kelvin temperature you got cumin hydroperoxide which on acid hydrolysis gives you phenol this is important method of preparation of phenol and you will get this propan propanol as by product in this reaction these two are industrial method of preparation or commercial method of preparation of alcohols you will get larger amount of alcohols in these two methods next two are laboratory method of preparation first two methods are over we left with two methods first among those is from benzene sulfonic acid third method is from benzene sulfonic acid how will you prepare benzene sulfonic acid have you heard oleum oleum it has a formula s h2 s2 o7 this is prepared by reaction of h2 so4 concentrated h2 so4 with so3 reaction of concentrated h2so4 with so3 gives oleum if you treat benzene with oleum it will give sulfonic benzene sulfonic acid benzene so3 h this is nothing but benzene sulfonic acid if you treat benzene with oleum you will get benzene sulfonic acid which on treatment with sodium hydroxide will give you phenol but there are two steps i will split that steps into two uh, i will split that that step into two steps in your textbook they have given only one step if you write that also that is enough but i will show you how it reacts first it reacts with NaOH to form sodium benzene sulfonate SO3 Na this is sodium benzene sulfonate okay which again reacts with NaOH this again benzene sorry sodium benzene sulfonate again reacts with NaOH which eliminates Na to SO3 minus h2o and h2o these two product will be eliminated and you will get sodium phenoxide o and a this is nothing but sodium phenoxide sodium phenoxide the sodium phenoxide on hydrolysis gives you all phenol corresponding phenol you will get which on hydrolysis in presence of dilute acid h plus or you can write here also h plus gives you phenol this is phenol so this is method of preparation of phenol from benzene sulfonic acid here you are treating benzene 
with oleum which gives you benzene sulfonic acid which on treatment with sodium hydroxide will give you sodium benzene sulfonate which on again reaction with sodium hydroxide will give you sodium phenoxide which on hydrolysis gives you phenol. This is third method of preparation of benz alcohol from sorry phenol from benzene sulfonic acid. Next is fourth method is from benzene diazonium salt from benzene diazonium salt. How will you prepare this diazonium salt? Take any aryl uh, primary amine aryl primary amine. I will take anilin. Aryl, this is aryl primary amine which on treatment with nitrous acid Na, NO2 in presence of HCl. This aniline, this is aniline. Aniline, which on treatment with nitrous acid in presence of HCl gives you benzene diazonia chloride and triple bond N. Cl minus N plus. This is the formula for benzene diazonium chloride. This benzene diazonium chloride on heating with water, heating with water or on heat or by treating it or with warming it with dilute H2SO4, dilute acid heating. Heating is required if you treat it either with water or dilute H2SO4 gives you corresponding phenol OH plus N2 OH plus N2 plus HCl. This will be the product. So you are preparing phenol from benzene diazonium salt which can be prepared by treating prime, aryl primary amine with nitrous acid in presence of HCl. These are four methods of preparation of phenol and earlier we have learned two methods of preparation of alcohol. That is uh, about preparation of alcohols and phenols. In next class, we let us study about physical properties and chemical properties of alcohols and phenols.